Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Systematically, black women decided that they didn't need black men. And they went on campaigns to make that known. We all heard about the 80s and the 90s when talk shows was a big thing. You know, wasn't no internet back then, wasn't no social media. So talk shows, the Oprah's, the Sally Jesse Raphael's, the all of them other shows, the Donahue, all of them other shows, all of them other shows. Black women made a concerted effort to make sure that the world understood how low down black men were and how they could not help the black community. And as a matter of fact, the black community would be better off without black men in it. Because if they wasn't abusive, they were stupid. And if they wasn't stupid, they were uh, down low. And if they wasn't down low, they were whoremongers and, and womanizers. And if they didn't fit into any of them categories, they was just some poor suckers. Unambitious, unable to do anything, unable to make headway in the world. So who needs them? And you still got black women today on social media now spewing that same rhetoric that was getting spewed 30, 40 years ago. And when sister Shaharazad Ali came out and was going on them same circuits combating that narrative and saying, wait a minute, even if the black man is guilty of some of these things, let's not pretend that black women are not guilty or, if, or that they are completely innocent of any contribution to the failure of what's going on in the black community. And when she started talking like that, them hyenas got mad, big mad with her. And here we are in 2023 having the same conversation. The problem, the problem is that black women ousted black men. But nature abhors a what? What does nature abhor? Anybody know? Nature abhors a vacuum. So if you remove or you get men out of their position, something got to fill that position. And it was black women. Black women had to fill the position of the absence of black men. And then they had to come tell the world that the reason why black men were absent is because they're no good. And they'll, they keep that narrative. I want y'all to understand that this narrative I'm talking about is decades old. It's not new. It's not new. This is a decades old narrative. Mm -hmm. 
We masculine because we got to be. We masculine because the men not here. We masculine because the men don't lead. And we got to take care of everything. And we got to do everything. And that's why we can't be feminine because we too busy being masculine because the men you know they don't have masculinity and they're not leading anything and they're not doing anything so we have to do it all that's what that that's what they say that's what they say that's the excuse that black women always come up with they never deny being masculine i want y'all to understand that they never deny being masculine so they can't come up and say, we're not masculine, we feminine women. What are y'all talking about? I uh, have to do or anything that come with black men. Thank you, Howard Kings. I love you, Dr. Kendra. You are so wonderful. Thank you so much. Finally, if you remove black men out of the space, nature abhors a vacuum. So now black women have to take the place of black men. It was all good when you thought you had power. It was all good when black women thought that being in that position meant that you had the power and could nobody tell you nothing. Well, that has gone on for quite some time, for quite a few generations and quite a few decades. The thing that black women didn't understand is that they fought to be men, but the, the, the trick and the trap of it all was that they would be black men. See, see, that's the part that hyenas didn't think about, is that you would feel the role of men, but you'd be a black man, not a white one. Thank you, G-Money said, we, why should a man fix the community he didn't destroy? As a man, it's hard to pour from a cup that has been trashed for 50 years. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your contributions. I appreciate contributions. What black women didn't understand is that they would be black men once they became men. Once they took on the responsibility of men and the role of men in the community, you'd be black men. Now, why is that a problem? Because this system of white supremacy is set against who? Black men. It do who the worst? Black men. And now black women are going to have to have the same experiences, these dehumanizing, humiliating experiences the way that black men have had to have them. So now you got situations where white men are assaulting and accosting you. You got cops roughing you up. You now, now you're getting shot. Now who's the bullet bag? We don't talk about that part. How, how you got to now worry about when you pull, get pulled over with the police. See, they ain't playing with you either. The institution sees you as a black man now. My auntie is a man now. You a man now. You a man now. Welcome to man world. Welcome to black man world. 
a world where you don't get recognized as a human being, where nobody has empathy for you and nobody expects you to have a full range of human emotions or experiences. You're just supposed to be a workhorse and a beast of burden. And don't nobody want you if you're not able to do something extraordinary from some, for somebody every single day. Welcome to black man world. Well, don't nobody touch you or hug you or love you. Where you're only a human doing, not a human being. Welcome to black man world. Where the institution consistently see you as a threat. Welcome to black man world. That's why they don't have no problem evicting y'all. With your kids. With them little nigglets that y'all got. They don't mind doing it because you a man now. They don't see you as women. They don't see you as helpless. They don't see you as victims. They don't see you as vulnerable because this is the same system that told you that you were strong and independent. Do you see how it all worked against you? And you took that ma mantra on. See, I told y'all about taking on the mantras and the mindsets that this system hand out to you. Because if they're coming to you with an accolade about something, you had better watch your back. If they praising you for a behavior, you do best to change it. And they came in with the, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, the cheerleading you on with your stupid self about being strong and independent. And yeah, I don't need no man. I, you know, I, 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 we don't need y'all dusties. We don't need y'all. What is y'all? Y'all that can't lead. Black men don't do nothing. Okay. 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 So now you're not a victim. Now, you're not vulnerable like other women. The system see other women as women. Even if they see them as minority women or a little lower down on the totem pole, they have some sympathy for them. They say, man, man, they're a bunch of women, man. But they don't see black women as women because you're a black man now. See, you thought that once you got into the man space, you'd be a white man. No, you're a black one. And now the system will treat you as such. Now the police don't care about giving you a two-piece and a biscuit now. And then blow your brains out. They don't care about that. They ain't never cared about it when they did it to black men. They don't care about it. You a new, you a new black man. Thank you, You Can't See Me, so I love your book. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lady Face. Oh, oh her, uh, her avatar is so pretty. Uh, thank you so much, sir. I am ashamed that not enough black women are on this channel. We are grateful for people like you who are persistent in spreading this message. They avoid your critique, but they cannot avoid the flames. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I always appreciate when my sisters come through. Because I like it when my sisters come through. I'm always real appreciative of my sisters coming through because not a whole, whole lot of women rock with the channel in terms of the analytics but I know that I'm affecting their lives, even by proxy. And it's a positive effect. So I'm happy when my sisters come through. I'm telling you, they treating you like black men now. Just like that black woman wanted to hold up somebody in the Walmart, remember that? And she held Becky captive and all that. They came in and blew her brains out. Didn't even say nothing. 
They ain't even asked her too many questions. Girl, what is you doing? Oh, you oh, you holding a Becky house? Oh, get rid of that. They hang you a two piece so fast. Thank you, Cassius, and now they the woman king. Exactly. That's why they put stuff out like that. That's why I did my review on the woman king. Because they put stuff out like that for you. It was white women that was behind the production of that. It was white women that was behind the writing and the production of the woman king. We gonna hold up a mirror and folks can call it bashing black women, talking dirty about them. But if we can't hold the mirror up to other black women as a black woman, who gonna hold the mirror up to you? Cause see, we not here to, we not here, I told y'all, we not here to poo poo and tutu y'all. Oh, sis, mm. it's okay that, you know, you neglect your kids and you don't let the father see the kids and stuff like that. Because I know you're going through a lot, you know, sis. We not doing that. It's a crying shame that you do your kids the way that you do and you, and you interrupt their relationship with their father. It's a crying shame, the video I did the other day with that guy finding out that the boy he'd been raising for 11 years is not even his son. And she was so dismissive about it. She was like, well, wouldn't it do it even really matter? Thank you, Yikwaba. Says Shalom, sister, keep up the work. Thank you so much. We got to hold the mirror up. Wait, wait, wait. Bang-yang was doing what? Don't tell me. Please don't nobody tell me Bang-yang tired of them too. Bang done got tired of them? Wait a minute. Am I reading that correctly? Am I reading it correctly? David Tyler said it was actually weird Seeing CNG go in on those hyenas the other day, they were saying, why you bashing us? Wait a minute. You mean to tell me they done made they leader tired? She tired? Thank you again, Miss Ladyface. Thank you, sweetheart. I almost got somebody send me. Somebody send me the clip and the timestamp. I need to see that for myself because I don't watch her channel. I don't watch none of her content. Somebody send me the clip. Because if y'all hyenas have made Cynthia G get at y'all in any capacity, I don't care if it was lightweight, she get at you a little bit. 
if y'all hyenas have even made Cynthia G that ride for the hyena clan, I don't care what's going on. She gonna call a black man a dusty. I don't care what he doing. She's gonna call a black man a dusty dust ball. I don't care what he got going on in his life. And if she done got tired of the foolishness that's going on in the elephant graveyard where she reigns supreme, Cynthia G is an OG hyena. She is an OG hyena. She has earned. Do you understand? She has earned her back feet over there. She have earned her place in the hyena clan now. Now it's an ignominious place, but she has earned it. She has earned her place in the hyena clan now. Yeah, she was the one that coined beta male coon. She was the one that coined that phrase, beta male coon. And it was towards black men. That's what the, she coined that phrase. And she done got tired. That's unbelievable to me. Thank you, G Money. He says, Zaddy used them to destroy themselves and everything around them. Between child support and student loans, Zaddy got paid the entire time. Listen, between child support, child support wasn't nothing but a, a, a pimp by the state. That The state pimped it out. Thank you, Al Bolski, says Synthi Synthetic G, a.k.a. the Ball Eagle. It, I, you know, yeah, I got to see that one. If, if, if Cynthia G done, done in any way, shape, or form held a hyena accountable for anything, That, that that's, it has to be seen to be believed. Because she don't do that. Not the Cynthia G I know about. Oh, we ain't talking about coming back. Now, that's going too far. We ain't talking about, we ain't talking about coming back or ingratiating or none of that. We ain't talking about none of that. We ain't talking about none of that. I just need the proof of that. Because we talking about the same individual that is, a, that is a huge proponent of deleting black male babies in utero. She is a huge proponent of that. That is a narrative that she say proudly on her channel that I have gone at several times. She's proud of that. She do not shy away from saying that. That one, that's, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Y'all hyenas done made y'all queen mad. Because Cynthia G is a queen hyena now. She a top matriarch. Now y'all done made her mad. I told you hyenas will cannibalize each other. That she will eat you. She'll chop your head clean off. She ain't got no loyalty to the rest of y'all. Thank you, Black Goku. So I wouldn't get my hopes up about that. It'll be a cold day in Hades before ZNG ever hold black women accountable. This is why I want to see the proof. 
I want to see that. I want to hear that for myself. Thank you, Black Goku. And then, and just, let's let's be clear. Whether she got at a hyena or not, my hopes is not my hopes is not up. She does she has proven what she is and what she about and what she do and what she say. There ain't no coming back from nothing that she talk about. There's no coming back from none of them talking points. Thank you, Nuradeen. Say, hey, Kendra's been a while. I work for a garbage truck company at night, so I'm not able to get on as much, but good to see you. all good to see you, too. Thank you so much, sweetheart. That's interesting. Yeah, I just want to be clear. My hope, my hopes is not up for anything. She say what she say. Cynthia G don't apologize for nothing she say. That's why I'm unapologetic for, I'm unapologetic for everything I say. Okay. I don't care what a hyena don't like. They must have get that must have made her kind of mad for her to do. I wonder what happened with that. Who what set that in motion? Thank you, Terenzo. Said the word same is Uncle L Sam versus Uncle Sam. Yeah, the backward man is same spelled backwards. Emas is the word emasculated. So there's that psychological mirror you mentioned. Twin the word. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tony. So hit the like button, bam. Yeah, hit the, y'all go ahead and hit the like button. We are hour in. Y'all hit the like button. KW Don says Cynthia G is finished. Her corruption is complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Your failure is complete if y'all know where that come from then you are a true geek thank you uh damba nagasi said you are definitely the next two grand goddess uh Shahraz- ali uh keep this buffet rolling because this is a daily meal you have going on here so salute thank you so much i appreciate it I greatly appreciate it. yeah her failure is complete. Her her failure is complete. So we not gonna <laughs> we not going to, you know, thumbs up. Nothing. Okay. It's just a little bit unbelievable, but you know. That actually wasn't Palpatine. That was actually Darth Vader when he was talking to um, Obi Wan because oh, because he realized that Obi Wan. I think he was talking to Obi Wan. Because he searched Obi Wan's thoughts and realized that he had a child and where his child was at. And so in the midst of fighting him, that's when he said, your failure is complete. You failed to keep them from me. Thank you. Okay, it was, it was, it was, he was talking to Luke. He was talking to Luke because Luke was thinking about his sister. He, he was like, sister. 
Duh. Okay, that was. And they was fighting in the ship. Got you. Got you. Got you. Mm-hmm. Are we geeks in here? We geeks in here. Like attract like. I'm a, I'm a whole geek. I'm a geek and a nerd. But I'm also going to get out of here. Um, I never did like Star Trek. Me and Star Trek? Mm -mm. That was the scene right there when he said that about his sister because Luke was hiding from him. And he was like, sister. And Luke looked like, man, I knew I wasn't ready. And he jumped out. Y'all got me want to watch Star Wars. I will go watch Star Wars. Anyway, don't get me to doing that. Um, are you a geek too, Pearls? Now, see, I don't play Dungeons and Dragons. Not the new one, anyway. I remember the real, 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 real old Dungeons and Dragons from the 80s. That game was impossible. But anyway. Yeah, I didn't like Star Trek, but Star Wars, me and Star Wars, okay, me and Star Wars, I didn't like Star Trek. Don't play with me, O and O, Age of Empires. One and two. I never played three or four. I never played nothing beyond Age of Empires 2 and the expansions. But I'm, when I tell you, many an hour, many an hour was spent attacking the red people and the green people. You understand? Whoever the red people and the green people was at the time. A many an hour was spent Get my goal, building my army, and, and I'm going to tell you this much. If you had a whole gang of archers, see, what you want to do is kill all the villagers. If you get rid of all the villagers, they can't rebuild nothing. But the most worsome ones was the villagers that would hide off in the corner and build a town center. And you be trying to figure out I done killed everything over here in the red people land. Why they ain't, why they, why have they not given up? And then all you got to do is ride your little scout around. That's the only time he coming to play because uh, he a whole nim can poop. But get your scout and you ride him around and then you'll find, they, they be surviving off a of town center and a lumber yard. A town center and a lumber yard. If you get rid of the town center and the lumber yard, okay, then they'll give up. Now, I don't know how to play chess. That I don't know how to do. I don't know how to play chess. I'm not even going to lie to you, make it sound flat to you. I don't know how to play chess. I was just talking about um, Asia Empires, Alboski. I was talking about Asia Empires. I got to go back to Red Dead 2. Red, because I like Red Dead. I like Red Dead 2. I have it. But I, I, have not, I have not even really gotten past, like, the first quarter of that game. I really need to start it over. Because, you know, once you don't play a game, it's been, like, two years since I picked that up. Once you don't play a game, you forget all the controls. So I don't forget how to shoot. You know what I'm saying? I don't forget how to ride the horse, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So 
So you be done forget. I gotta get back into um. I gotta get back into my Need for Speed Heat because I like racing games, and I gotta get back into. Uh, I gotta finish Shadow of Mordor. I got so many games that it's been years, and I have not finished them. And uh, I want to play. I ain't never finished all of the Arkham series either. Um, like I say, you just got ten experience points for releasing your inner and outer geek. Yeah, yeah, I'm a geek. Yeah, I'm a geek. Now, I like Need for Speed because it's got, the physics is realistic, but it's, you know, you can get a little damage and stuff like that and keep going. I never liked Forza because, or Gran Turismo because it was too realistic and not game-like enough. It was almost like a driving sim. I don't like that. Don't get me started on PlayStation 3 because that is where all the old gods of wars are you can play all your old gods of war on playstation 3 okay i've been on need for speed since pc need for speed special edition anybody need for speed hot pursuit the first one mm -hmm. I, I do like burnout burnout is cool burnout is cool We will talk about these games. Yeah, back when TC Carson was Kratos. Aries. <laughs> I was a I was a PlayStation girl before I was an Xbox girl. PlayStation to me has the better hardware. Them PlayStations is hardy, especially three. I don't know about four and five. I don't have them. But PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, keep them forever. Xbox, to me, has better games. And Xbox beat out PlayStation because Xbox made all day games compatible. They made X, the um, 360 games compatible and they made the old Xbox games compatible to play on the newer Xboxes so you could actually go back in the library and get them old Xbox 360 games and play them. And that's actually what put Xbox as the edge over PlayStation. When PlayStation make their PlayStation 2 with the biggest game library in history compatible, backwards compatible with all the newer PlayStations, that's when PlayStation will have them. They'll be unbeatable then. Xbox won't have nothing on that. If I can get a PlayStation 5 and play the old God of War on that, play Second Sight on that, all them old PS2 games that didn't get, the ones that didn't get all the pub, but they were still real good games. Oh, I, put, I, I got wrong. I got wrong. Let me get out of here, because I'll sit here another 30 minutes. Rome was too short. I got through Rome in two sittings, and that's only because I had got up, and I, I wanted to finish it the next day. So Rome was too short. It was good, but it was too short. Thank you, Beth Shua. So you can play old system games on the Nintendo Switch as well. I can play games from NES, SNES, and Nintendo 64. Yeah, everybody doing it except PlayStation. They being hard-headed with that. PlayStation 2 was the best, highest grossing, and largest game library in modern gaming history. Why wouldn't you make that library available for all future PlayStations? Why would not, why wouldn't you do that? 
G Money says, sounds like a gamer channel is next. <laughs> I thought about it. I thought about getting a capture card and everything. I really did think about it. And I was going to specialize in old school games. I miss Onimusha. Onimusha was, was tight. Onimusha was tight. I like Onimusha. Thank you again, Best Choice. And Nintendo is still making Zelda games. The next one releases in less than a month. Oh, okay. What I can't wait for is Diablo 4, y'all. Diablo 4, y'all. Diablo 4 coming out, y'all. I got three. I used to play one on the PC. Diablo, the first Diablo was creepy. The first Diablo was creepy. That was a really, that was actually a creepy game. I played two, I played three, me and three, we like this. Me and three, we see eye to eye. But that Diablo four, though. I'm a sucker for Diablos. Cause you ain't even gotta, you ain't gotta know nothing. You just gotta get on there and fight. That's all you do. You ain't even got, it ain't nothing to remember. Just get on there and fight. All right, so thank you all for geeking out with me these last, what, 15 minutes. Um, thank you for geeking out. Thank you again, Miss Beth Schwartz, and my husband played the beta for Diablo 4. See, I ain't do, he did. I bet it look good, too, because Diablo, Diablo 3 is the bomb. I bet Diablo 4 look good. Mm -hmm. New powers. I'm looking forward to the new powers. Mm hmm Yeah, I like me some Diablo. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and it's got so much replay value. You play them same ones over again, but you get stronger and stronger. Right. So anyway. Oh, you got an Atari 2600? I still got an old Sega Genesis. <laughs> Stop playing. And it work. Stop playing. I got an old Sega Genesis. And I got a PlayStation 2 that work and games. Stop playing. Anyway, thank you for your contributions. Thank you for rocking out with me and geeking out with me a little bit. You know, I don't always do that with you guys. Everything is so serious. But thank you so much for all of your contributions through Super Chat. Let me see if we had any um, cash apps at all. And we did. Thank you so much, Two Triv. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Corbett. Thank you so very, very much. And thank you, Xavier. Such a gracious um, contribution. Thank you so much. So generous. Um, once again, thank you so much for rocking out with me, hitting the like button. Don't forget. You can go to crimsoncure.com and get a copy, get your copy of Reclaiming the Black Feminine, The Lies of Feminism and the Road to Recovery. All right, thank you so, so, so much for all of the support that you've given me for this book. It's such an awesome book and it has already helped so many people. If you really want some solutions, definitely get this, get this book for yourself, get this book for your wife, your daughters, anybody in need of this. So once again, crimsoncure.com, get your copy of the book. It's also on sale on Amazon as well for the digital copy. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you, Beth Shua. So hubby is playing Assassin's Creed right now. See, I never, I never played Assassin's Creed. I got them all because of Xbox Go, but I never played not one of them. And the only reason I got them is because the mechanics and the engine reminded me of Prince of Persia, which is one of my favorite games. I'm going to have to get on. I'm going to have to get on my game. I don't know. I don't even have time. I don't be having time to game. I be wanting to. 
It just don't be happening. But anyway, thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. <laughs>